Hey everyone, this is my Maytag washing machine that I bought in November 2017 from Lowe's during their Thanksgiving sale, which means I've had this washer for over five years, and I'll put the model number and price that I paid for it somewhere on the screen. I chose this washer for the exact same reasons as my dryer. The reviews were good, it was very affordable, and it didn't have a lot of extra bells and whistles. I'll walk you through the control panel so that you can see what it does have. On the left is your soil level, so you can set it to how dirty your clothes are. I don't really change this, but I think the heavier the soil level, the longer your wash time will be. Next is your wash temperature to control how hot or cold the water is. And the center is the main dial for controlling the wash cycle. You have everything from the normal cycle to hand wash for delicates. There's also a setting for cleaning the wash with a fresh tablets. It's important to clean the washer each month, otherwise it'll start to smell bad with the buildup of mildew and stuff like that. I've used the Afresh tablets, but recently I've switched to these Tide powder packs because they seem to be a little stronger and they do smell nicer. If you do use the Tide packs, make sure you follow the instructions on the box because it is a powder and it will be different than if you use the Afresh tablets and the clean washer setting you'll run the Tide Cleaners on a different setting. Next, you have your extra rinse and fabric softener dial if you're using fabric softener. This is the progress bar, and next to it is the start pause button. The washer has a clear lid, which I do like. On the inside is a spot to put liquid chlorine bleach, and in this drawer is where you'll pour your detergent and fabric softener. Now the big question, after five years, what kind of problems and repairs have I had? And the answer is the same as it was with the dryer. I have not had a single problem with this washer. It still washes clothes as well as it did when I bought it. And knowing how bad appliances are nowadays, I think I'm off to a good start with this one. That's it for me. Please consider giving the video a like and thank you for watching.